Hello, my name is Herman Schmidt, and I'll be uh, presenting our paper today, Multi-Input Serial Adders for FPGA-like Computational Fabric. My name is Herman Schmidt from Google Research. My co-author on this paper is Matthew Denton. So the motivation behind this work is an unproven hypothesis. And that hypothesis is that using bit serial arithmetic connected via programmable wires and using instance specific configurations is the most energy efficient way to perform sparse matrix computations on integers. I say it's an unproven hypothesis. The only way to prove this is effectively empirically by building uh, such, a, such a device. Our prior work, which was just published at HPCA, showed that we could use Onlinks FPGAs to implement large sparse matrix multiplication with two to three orders of magnitude better latency than GPUs. And since GPUs aren't really sparse matrix accelerators, we also compared against an academic paper um, that was a sparse matrix accelerator. And there we achieved a 4x to 47x better latency. Uh, throughput and um, power are harder to measure, but we believe that those are competitive as well. And the key to these uh, uh, performance numbers are using instance-specific configurations on the FPGA. In other words, taking the matrix itself, compiling a specific uh, net list for that particular matrix, and then placing the routing that matrix. We use bit serial arithmetic to achieve the density uh, to give us uh, compelling uh, size matrices. But one observation we made in that paper is that LUTs are not the right functional unit for this computation. Xilinx and Intel FPGAs can only map to uh, one two input uh, bit serial adder into a six LUT or in an ALM, leaving much of the device underutilized. So this paper proposes uh, a different kind of functional unit to add, which we're calling the K add. Um, and the naming is to correspond with the K LUT. Uh, which is a generalization of a LUT with K inputs. Similarly, a K add is a bit serial adder that has K inputs and takes K parallel bit streams in. Uh, we present an easy construction rule for a K add. All you need to do is find two terms. We'll call them K1 and K2. Uh, you implement a K1 add and a K2 add, and then you merge their uh, results with an additional two input bit serial adder to achieve a single bit output. Uh, this slide shows uh, the base case of uh, k equals two, uh, a simple k equals three, which is sort of an unbalanced tree, a k equals six implementation, which uses that three add. Um, and uh, it's also worth noting that uh, this construction methodology of using the, the tree is not always the most efficient. There seems to be some, uh, some uh, cases where K uh, enables different implementations than you would find with the tree, as shown here with K equals five. Our results are summarized here. What we did was we uh, effectively took uh, a modern uh, FPGA architecture uh, borrowing the architecture files from uh, EPFL's paper last year. Uh, and we want to thank Stefan Nikolic uh, at EPFL for supporting us. Um, and effectively, what we're doing is swapping into uh, that fabric a 6-add to replace a 6-let. Um, the results that we get are we get about a 2.5x to 4x reduction in the logic cells across a suite of matrices that we're compiling. And the performance improvements that we get come in two independent terms. One is that we get higher clock rates, primarily as illustrated in the upper right, uh, primarily because the designs are smaller um, and place them around more efficiently. It's also true that the six ad is getting more work done than the two ad. Uh, and therefore, there's a reduction in the number of cycles that it takes to perform any matrix computation. So if you take those two terms, multiply them, that gives you your effective throughput. Um, and overall, we achieve anywhere from 8% to 33% uh, better latency and throughput. Thank you. I hope this was intriguing enough for you to read the paper to see some more details. Uh, in the paper, we also consider uh, some of the aspects of the interconnect that you might want to optimize in order to uh, improve this computational fabric. Thank you for your time.